Excellent. All right. Okay. Hey, everybody. Happy June. Happy meeting. Um, I wanted to show you guys, I made all of the team packet projects, but I wanted to show you a couple of them. I don't know where the other two are, but anyway, um, they're pretty simple to do. You just score the bag at three inches and fold over, but I wanted to show you that there's a couple different ways to score them. So I'm going to show you this one. I'm actually going to take these guys out. So these were fun projects, um, and I do like that they fit in a standard size envelope. So if you did want to mail them, you could. Um, I know that they're not traditional cards in, you know, the traditional sense, um, but um, they mail just like a traditional card and um, they're pretty, pretty darn cute. So they use the in color gift bags, which are, oh, let's see. The 2023, 2025 in color treat bags. There's 25 of them. Item 161752. So 25, I mean, that's quite a few. So you could do a class with five people and everybody gets to make five of these pretty affordably um, because there's not much card stock to them. And what's cute about them is, is that they close in a variety of ways. So this one has the flap kind of in the front and then in the back is where this piece is. This one has, it kind of goes the inverse. It has the kind of like torn edge in the back. And then I put the little card here in the front. You could use them for gift card holders, but the other thing that fits really cute in these is seed packets. So um, seed packets fit perfectly in these. I've made them before and um, they're super, super cute. And then if you wanted to make the card a little bit bigger, you could. Now, I don't seal them the way that Candy was talking about. So I don't seal them on the left and the right. So here, this is being held together just by this panel, by this strip. Um, this one is just being held together by the ribbon. And I mean, it's not going anywhere. You don't have to glue this. So you don't have to lose the interior space. And then this one, the pink one is actually my favorite. And, oh, you can't see them. Well then, huh, okay. What if I spotlight it instead of pinning it? Spotlight? Okay, is that better? Okay. Um, okay, well then let's go back. So this one, <laughs> is sealed together um, because I've glued the, um, the, the panel down. So I'm not losing any interior space on the pocket here, which is really nice. And you just score it at three inches. Be careful when you score these. Uh, I used the scoreboard and um, I tore it. <laughs> so I would recommend you just fold it over <laughs> with your hands and then use a bone folder. Don't use the scoreboard because when you use the scoreboard, the bags are kind of thin and you'll rip it. And so this one I ripped, um, it is very neatly scotch taped back together in the corner and you can't see it at all, <laughs> but um, this is one I ripped. <laughs> so um, just, you know, be gentle when you do it. This one's being held together with the ribbon. So I like that. And then this is my favorite one, the pink one, very burst. And because partly because it's got this fun little embossing folder. So this is the embossing folder that's part of the online exclusives. It's like that three pack of embossing folders. Um, and it has the dots, which I think is really fun. And then I didn't have the same stamp set that Candy did. So I just used something I had that had a little bit of greenery. Um, it was that, um, the one that has the, Gosh darn it, I want to find these other two samples. Um, let me see. Where did I put them? Do you, know, do you guys know where I put them? Oh, here's one. Found one. Good. Here's the other one. I'll find it. 
I just put them in with my finished card, but somehow they got lost in the finished card box. Okay, well, I found another one. Um, so I'll show you that one too. But I like this one because it opens here. So this one's kind of cool because it opens like a card and then it opens and it's got a little sentiment on the inside, which I think is really cute. So like it has a little space to write, which I think is really fun. And then this was the one I did with the, the Moody Mob. It's that stamp set, the Sun Prints or whatever from last year. I forget what it's called. Earth, no, it's not Earth and Textures. It's last year's Earth and Textures. Yes, what's that one called, Patsy Palmer? Five stars. Nature's Prints. There you go, Nature's Prints. And what's cool, I've actually never done this before. This is actually just a really cool technique. So there was a die cut circle. And you didn't stamp the back circle, but you popped up this circle and you did stamp on this one. And I really like the look with the two circles. I actually think it's a really cool, I think it's a cool look. What I like about these also is that they featured other new colors. So this is, and it had Misty Moonlight. This was Pebble Path, Berry Burst. This one's Boho and it has Lemon Lolly. This one is copper clay, and I think that's just pool party. Um, and then I don't remember what the other one looks like, or else I would totally find it and show it to you. But anyway, I wanted to show you those. Um, so Candy and I are sharing the packet. <laughs> no, shut them up. <laughs> um, so Candy and I are sharing the hosting responsibilities for Team Packet. So I'm in charge next month. So we're just going back and forth and back and forth. Um, I was at my mom's for a week and couldn't add anything else to my plate. Um, but I'm hoping she's going to get me next month uh, really quick so that I can do what I need to do and get those out in time. Um, so anyways, I just wanted you to know that. Um, and then things. I've got announcements for our superstars for May. So we had one, two, three, four folks who were over 500. So let's give them a round of applause. We had Glenda. Yay. And Lisa. Yay. And Jill. Yay. And Kathleen. And then we had one person over 900, actually over a thousand. And it was Elena. She had a starfire month. <laughs> and then we had, um, Pat, she has a new recruit. And so welcome Ruth. Yay. Congrats. So as a reminder, you have incentive coupons. Um, and I've been going through and, um, Messaging folks, especially when I know like Jill and Sarah decided to use some of theirs towards fall retreat because um, my fall retreat is filling up, but they used some of theirs towards fall retreat. Um, if you, um, I usually when I post this month's packet, like when I'm in charge of the packets, I'll tag everybody who has coupons and I'll say, hey, you guys have coupons if you want to use them. Um, you can always find the coupon spreadsheet at the top of C2C Stampers. Um, there's, it's always pinned at the top um, and it's called, the spreadsheet is called C2C Team Incentive Tracker. So you can always find that at the top and check out your coupon balance. Um, and you're welcome to use those on events. You're welcome to use them on monthly team packets when I'm hosting because Clearly that's money with me, not money with candy. Um, and then um, you're also free to use them for product. So if there's something that you want and you're like, hey, I've got money saved up and I want some product, you're free to do that as well. So um, I'm going to get close to not rolling money. Like I'll roll money for one year, but I'm not going to roll money for two years, right? So on the spreadsheet, and I'm going to share my screen to show you. Sure. 
On the spreadsheet, you'll see there's a carryover rewards. And in the carryover rewards, I wanna make sure that you use these carryover rewards because I won't carry them over again. <laughs> so like Patsy, you've got quite a bit. I'm assuming you're probably gonna use it towards retreat eventually. Like I know you put a deposit down, but I'll just subtract. You message me and tell me how much you wanna put towards it, but we can do that. Um, so, you know, Terry, Rhonda, Melissa, um, Barbara, you know, you guys definitely have enough for a team meeting packet. And then Elena, you've got enough because I know you've got some over here too. Kathleen, you've definitely got enough too. Crystal, you've got enough too. So it's okay if you don't come to some of the bigger events. The other event we're doing is the um, Susan Rutherford and I are going to host the stamp camp again on the Labor Day. Mm -hmm, that's the next Monday holiday coming up. And so if you want to come to stamp camp and you want to use this towards stamp camp, either virtual or in person, you can do that too. Um, so as long as I'm hosting something, you can come. And if it's a monthly class and you want to come to one of my monthly classes, you can do that too. That's fine. So, um, okay. So congratulations, everybody, for a great May. That was really good. We're going to do a fun little crossword puzzle. I know that that seems random, but you know, nothing like being random and fun. Okay. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit, the fancy zoom out. Or just, I'm just going to look this up just a little bit. Okay. So we're doing a funny crafty puzzle and you guys get to help me. Um, so we'll do We'll do a cross first because I find that easy. So it's round and puffy is the first one. I don't know. Well, he was a noble man. So uh, three across is a cat's best friend. I'm going to assume yarn, right? We think yarn on that one. The cat's best friend. You want to go with yarn? All right, we'll do it in pencil just in case we screw up. How's that sound? One across is eraser. It's round and puffy. Okay, let's see. Eraser. All right, well, we can see. It does fit. You're right. The secret to granny squares. Oh, Marianne would know this. Uh, four across. Marianne's been making lots of granny squares with her knitting lately. Five is don't burn yourself. Well, we know that's hot glue, right? Eight glue. You know, each agency has their own unique file. across, add them to safety pins and decorate your jean jacket. Um, beads. Beads, yep, yeah, good job. Uh-oh, I can't spell. Oh, this is a lot of pressure spelling on camera. Okay. A uh, 10 across, pretty in or on any palette. May I would say maybe. Paint. Paint. Yeah, let's go with paint. Okay, good. I like that. Let's try this. Paint. Okay. 11. It's sticky, long, and comes in every color. Washy. Or washy. Washy. I still have a fierce washy collection. You'll either love it or you hate it is number 12. You'll either love it or you hate it. Glitter. What do you think? Kathleen said glitter. <laughs> I bet that's it. Glitter. Sure. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I bet that's it. Okay, good job, guys. Okay, yeah. use this if you might make mistakes. That, that's the eraser. That's that the Linda's eraser. Yeah, Glinda said that. Oh. It's not eraser. One across is not eraser. It is. The eraser. Two down, yeah, is, eraser. Two down <laughs> is eraser. E R A S E R. <laughs> Okay, well, that messes up everything else. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why we work. So in glad you did in pencil. Pencil, absolutely. Okay, <laughs> trying again. Okay, let's continue on with the down ones. Uh, six, you'll need a hoop for this. Embroidery. 
Yeah, good, 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 good. And that does fit with other things we have. So that's good. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Okay. All right. So two and six, I feel good. With. Eight, let's cut to the chase. They're tricky to use if you're a lefty. Oh, well, scissors. 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 <laughs> you know, my mom had lefty scissors growing you up. You sure it's not? You sure it's not snips? No, it's scissors. No, it's scissors. This is not made by Stampin' Up. I'm going to tell you that. Fire it to see it change colors. Why are it to see change? So that's the um, the glaze, right? Uh, glaze. G-L-A-Z-E. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we should have started with the down is what this <laughs> is. No big deal. Puffy. Right. It's round and puffy. I was going to say my face. <laughs> pom pom, pom pom. No, it has an e. Oh, e. I feel your pain, Glenda. <laughs> what is the name of the push pen? Uh, like puff pumpkin. Pain. Oh, puff What's paint. That puff the paint. Puff paint. But, but that doesn't. That, yeah, it's round and puff. it's round. Oh, Are you sure about a racer? Right. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. it's, 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 it's a pin cushion, it? but it doesn't C-O-U. fit. Oh, you no. Huh. Yeah, do we have any more clues? Because I see. Let's turn number three, a cat's best friend. So I thought it was yarn, but apparently it's yeah. not. Catnip, but no. <laughs> it with an A. That's Tuna. I mean, yes, but. It worked. There's no right. I mean, there's only three letters more. You Seven. can't go wrong. Well, that's true, but I think we're not. It's not a. It's not a craft. It's tool. not a craft. It's true not enough. four across. The secret to granny squares. It starts with an S. S. Squares. S. Okay, we're not at quilters. So that's for sure. Uh, squares. Ah. Yeah. Wow. Squares. Huh. That's so why. Right in. Don't the, uh, burn yourself. So R and E. Don't burn yourself. Don't burn yeah. yourself. Um, R, if you can't tell. Don't burn yourself. Don't burn yourself. It's Please. not iron. Don't burn yourself. It's I R T R E. No. Um. T R. Okay, should I cheat and look in the back? Not yet. Wait. Not yet. She's gonna make mistakes. Okay, it's round and puffy. Round and puffy, and I'll burn yourself. Well, and the cat one's not the cat's best friend isn't quite right either. True, but these we feel pretty good about. Okay, so we've got three. cat's best friend. Um, your resources it's not press press p-r-e no press oh uh, no no <laughs> no never mind it's round and puffy don't burn it's round and puffy it's i'm sure it's cotton ball pom-poms a sponge I like one of those puffy sponges, but you know, it doesn't work. Um, Wait a minute. If you, if that, what was a racer? What number was that down? That was two oh. down. Use this if yeah. you might make mistakes. Oh, wait. Pencil, not a racer. Yes. Well, that oh. changes everything. Sure does. Hold and on. What happened? Yeah, she said it either. Pom pom, pom pom. Hold on. So, pen. Oh. Um, no. um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Crochet. Okay. Yarn. Oh, it's it's crochet. Yarn work. Crochet. Oh my gosh. And okay, five across. Don't burn yourself. Blue. Um, hot. Blue gun. Blue gun. Blue gun. Blue gun. Blue gun. <laughs> oh my God. We did it. Yay, no cheating. Yay. 
And it only it took, took like <laughs> nine of us to do this. Good <laughs> job, everybody. Yay. Don't tell anybody. I won't, I promise. <laughs> so um, the reason we did this was because I am, um, I subscribed to a, this Pip Sticks thing. Um, it's, it's called, it's Pippi is their like little nickname or whatever, which happened to be my nickname growing up. But anyway, it was, um, it's a little um, booklet that comes with your sticker um, pack or whatever. And so that was one of the activities. And then they also had you like, it was like, find how many of these things you have in your um, craft room. And then they did like, you know, a poll, like, are you, are you crafty? Um, and then they give you like a sneak peek for next month. And then I loved this friends who craft together, stay together. I thought that was super cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So um, I have a few um, stickers that I'm going to give away from that this month. And I've got a few, um, I've got some fun prizes. So I just wanted to get my clothes out um, before I moved too far along the road here. Okay. And then let me get my stickers out. Okay. So while we talk, I will um I will go back to gallery. I'm gonna um spotlight. Okay. Hey, so while I pick out some some stuff, I need to get a couple things out. But um new in Stampin' Up World. Um so um, we, they closed backstage, which is going to be in Las Vegas for leaders. And um, they had 722 people register for backstage, which is like 200 more than last year, which is great. And then they had another 200 to register for the virtual stuff, which is cool. So definitely, um, you know, increasing events. They also announced the weekend for on stage next spring. If you missed that, it is going to be in Houston, which is super close to us. Um, and it is March. It's the second weekend. Oh, sugars. It's the second weekend of spring break, which I'm sure doesn't help any of you. Um let me look it up real quick. If anyone has the date like offhand, let me know, but I'll look it up. And then um, Wednesday is free shipping day. So yay for free shipping. We love that. And um, on stage will be March 14th through the 16th. That's um, the so first the weekend of spring break though. It actually... Well, for Dripping Springs, it's not. I need to look and see if that's different from Austin ISD. Mm. Okay, so um, on, on stage, no, let me back up. Wednesday oh, is free right. shipping and we can still get the paper at 15% off. That's Hot right. Dang. Oh, yes. Yep. Oh my gosh. Well, there me. you go, Lisa. <laughs> I waited for a reason. <laughs> yeah, that was something. Um, so being able to stack those two deals together. So having the DSP sale and the free shipping is a great deal. And if you if you haven't looked at the delightfully eclectic paper, I would highly recommend it. It is an expensive paper pack, but it is part of the sale. So I feel like you're getting a good deal and you get four full sheets of each pattern so you get four 12 by 12 sheets of each pattern so it's kind of like those hostess packs that we had in the past mm -hmm. um, and it's a really fun pack of paper there's florals there's weird paper like pretzel paper yes but there's also a lemon paper and there is I mean there's some really cute patterns in there um so I would say just you know check out that pack as one of your packs potentially yeah the lemon paper is really cute Kathleen have you seen that lemon pattern in there do you want to see it I can show it it's really please cute. please yeah. where do I find it oh special. pretzels would be good for Oktoberfest 
They would. That's true. Good yeah. job. Way to see the um, way to see the positive there, Glenda. Love that. Um, okay, let me let me. So and where is, where is this paper available? This is in the store. Yeah. Um, and it the is store. in and stamp it up. It's on our page. So this is one sheet. Oh yeah, yeah. And then the flip of that is the really cute little flowers. And then there's a really fun purple flower, fresh freesia. And the flip of that is a fun black and white. And then there's a really cute hearts and some of the hearts are pink. And then the back of that is there are these really cool alphabet pieces. And then there's this pattern that's black and white. And the flip side of that is the swans, which I think are really silly, but whatever. And then, um, there's this one that's like a blue. You've probably seen this on a lot of like sample cards. People are really liking this one. And then the flip of that is a really fun kind of yellow dot. Then there's this light pink floral. And the flip of that is a really fun pink stripe that's not um, even. It's like painted. So it's got like a fun movement. And then there's this really fun daisy paper. The daisies are pretty big. So you can see my fingers oh, and then the flip of that is the super cute little lemons <laughs> so it has like a really faint stripe on the background and then it's got the little lemons it's really cute and then there's a really fun multicolored stripe and the flip of that is the pretzels Yay. <laughs> the <multi -stripe. laughs> and then there's this paper that um, coordinates with that punch that quilt punch so it's got kind of like a quilted look to it. It's really cute. And then the flip of that is this really fun um, ledger paper. So it has like ledger pieces. It's really cute. It's like little note cards. You can make really cute cards out of that. Then there's an iCat uh, print, which I really like in Midnight um, Misty Moonlight. And another kind of like note card ledger type grade book paper. It reminds me of like an old school grade book. Um, mm -hmm. And then there's this floral, which is a little different than the other one, but there's two florals that have a lot of, there's a lot of misty moonlight in here. And then the back of this is a nice masculine plaid, which is really nice and useful. Oh yeah. And then the strawberries, <laughs> there's a strawberry paper, which is super cute. And then the flip of it is like a really fun kind of light pink print. So the colors in this set are basic black, bubble bath, Cajun craze. That's just the pretzel. Um, Calypso coral, crushed curry, fresh freesia, garden green, misty moonlight, a lot of misty moonlight, night of navy, old olive, petal pink, and pretty peacock. So it's a fun color combo. And if you haven't looked at this paper because of the price, I would say now, now would be the time to get it because it's on sale and then there's free shipping. Um, and I find the prints to be really usable. I've used a lot of them already. And um, I do like that it has four sheets of 12 by 12. So for those of you who are teaching classes, you can get, like you don't have to buy multiple packs and you can get lots and lots of cards out. So um, so just, you know, it also if you're thinking of doing swaps or anything, this is great. It's an annual catalog paper. It'll get you through all of next spring too. So thinking about swaps for on stage next spring, right? Like you could knock out a whole bunch with that. I just wanted to add that that pretzel. Uh, it reminds me of Germany. And I've been saving all the French and German uh, things in my paper pumpkin. So uh, I sell cards and I maybe several of you do as well. But I have a category for French and for German. And I get a lot of the teachers who buy them. <laughs> I think... The French and the German stuff is really useful. Also, if you live near a German town or you're near a worst fest or something like that, um, you know, the, that it could be really fun. It could be a really cute thing. So thank you, Kathleen. Lemons, delightfully eclectic. There we go. Normally $30 on sale for $25.50. And then you get your demo discount and then you get free shipping. So anyways, that is a paper pack that I really like. And um, I bought it. 
for my paper share, but then I bought an extra pack because I liked it so much and I've been really enjoying playing with it. So I just wanted to put that out there. If you weren't like super jazzed about some of the other paper, I think that that paper has a lot of possibilities. So, um, okay. When he's on stage again. You said the on stage is March 14th to the 16th of 2024. 16th oh saturday saturday 14th okay. to 16th yeah and it'll be at the george brown convention center in houston texas which is amazing so that is the north american location wow so everybody lisa that looks like he could be my george he's a big boy like george is oh he might be bigger than george okay he's bigger than george that thing is huge it is huge <laughs> lisa who's your giant friend this is Tripper. Tripper. <laughs> Tripper. Tripper, you are bigger than George. How much does he weigh? About 95 pounds. Yes, you are bigger than George. Goodness gracious. He is a mix between a poodle and a St. Bernard. Okay, mine's a poodle and a border collie. So okie dokie, you win on size for sure. Um, he's pretty darn cute though. Um, he's cute. Thank mine's you. on a walk, thank God. Um, or I'll be right up in my face. Um, so I was super excited about on stage. I was glad that they gave us a date and a weekend. Um, if you go to, I'll just show you real quick, share screen. Share. You can see the logo is kind of fun and it gives us an idea of kind of, so this would be um, what all of the um, swag and stuff will be um, themed around. So this is, if you go to events, you'll see that there's on stage 23, which we know will be in November and it will be online. And then on stage 24. And um, if you scroll down, it'll give you an idea. Like Thursday is check-in. There's an interactive experience around the event center. So I'm imagining kind of like we used to have like the display boards and stuff, like maybe even a product playground or something for us to explore. And then it says participate in an optional crafting evening for an additional fee, which that sounds like fun. We've done that before. It's been a, quite a while since they've done that. But they did, um, I want to say one of, I think our last convention that we did in Salt Lake and to I don't know, 2000, I don't know. It was like 10 years ago. It's like when I first joined and they had like four different classes and we could pick which one we wanted to go to. And they were all like for a nominal fee, like 20, 30 bucks. Um, but like one of them, we did like a brand new kid and one of them we did. So it was really fun. Um, and, um, so that is cool that they're doing that on Thursday night and then Friday, like all day it's going to go. And then it looks like Friday night. So classes and activities throughout the day. So it looks like we're going to have, we're, they're going back to like rotations where we get to like kind of pick and choose our adventure, which is fun. And then it looks like Friday night that we're going to have a fun recognition evening. So that sounds good. And then Saturday, a full day. So then we're done. Saturday so we would come, everybody would fly home or go drive home on the 17th so it looks like you would want to come in on Thursday and you know but probably before five o'clock or so and then go home on Sunday um so this is great so um, I'm so happy that they finally came out with the dates and the location is super great for us in Texas um and Houston's easy to fly into so there's two airports and you know, lots of different kinds of ways to get into Houston. So that's really good. So I'm going. Yay. I'm, I'm, I'm going. So I, if, I, if we're getting a house, I'm going. I know. So that's what I was going to start looking for a house, actually, because I have a feeling that others will have the same ideas. So, um, yay. Um, so other than free shipping, we have the DSP sale. We still have the starter kit deal right now, which is a great deal. They get extra free stuff. Um, and then we have the pre-order for the online exclusives, which are in July. And I talked a little bit about online exclusives at Candy's meeting last week. If you missed it, um, check it out. My quick summation is 
um, only buy what you love. And if you don't love it, like I don't love the sleighs, I'm not buying it and that's okay. Um, but the paper is really pretty. Um, and um, I've had a lot of fun playing with it. And I'm looking forward to that image that they gave us, that preview image shows, I'll show actually, let me share my screen because I want to show you this. This is how I, this is how I play my Spectre gadget. Um, so this preview image shows us a stained glass Santa, which I love stained glass. I love stained glass techniques. I think it's a lot of fun. And then you see a truck and a truck punch here. So, you know, I'm holding out for those two things um, and they could take their sleigh and ride it. Um, cause I'm <laughs> not but um, that's okay. Some people do, um, but we do not get a chance to buy those products until July 6th. So that will be, normally they would come out on a Tuesday, but Tuesday's July 4th. So on a Thursday, then customers will be able to buy, and so will we, from the full range of online exclusives, whatever that may be. Um, so we'll have to wait until then to see what they are. So, um, so that's the updates. How about we have you guys share some projects that you've made? And I'll do some birth price drawings, and that'll be fun. And thanks for playing along with my fun little, um, you know, uh, crossword puzzle. I thought that we could challenge ourselves and we truly were challenged. So good job, team. Uh, way to go. Let me pull out my stickers though. Hold on. I got I forgot to pull these before I started chatting because it you know, shows we can play together. It does show we can play together and we did good. Like no one talked over anybody and no one was weird and uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. I might be well, weird. Yeah. <laughs> We're all a little weird, you know, but all right. And then I think, let's see, oh yeah, here. So I, uh, I got my, I was doing a sticker subscription, which just shows you that, you know, subscriptions will get you anytime. I have stopped it um, because I have too many stickers now and that's okay. But I wanted to share, they did what, they suckered me in with a whole sticker month about crafting, which is what I showed you that booklet from. So anyway, I had to, I used to collect stickers as a kid. Anybody else do stickers? I don't know. Like, was that the Lisa only one? Frank. Like, Lisa Frank, right? Oh my gosh. So this weekend we had a Girl Scout um, event at Schlitterbahn and there was a woman, an adult mother wearing a Lisa Frank swimsuit that was missing some of the swimsuit, it needed a little bit more coverage, but it was like the Lisa Frank, like tiger print with like the multicolored. It was something y'all just, ah. it was something. Um, it was have to look that one up. Cause I don't know about those bathing suits. Yeah. I think if you, if you searched up Lisa Frank bathing suit, I'm sure you would find it. Okay. Um, maybe I'll post it in our group for a brief second and, uh, and then we'll, I'll take yeah. it down right quick just cause it was something. Um, but you know what? Good for her. Way to be brave, you know? All right. So if you share a project, you get an extra entry into the door prize. But before you share a project, everybody gets an entry. So let me write down everybody's name. And Jill. So a couple of people aren't with us tonight. Um, Kim Cavine, um, her dog, they had to put their dog to sleep. So mischief, they had to put mischief to sleep today. He had a um, lung cancer. They just got diagnosed last week. And so it was very sad. So if you know Kim, um, her, um, if you want Kim's address and you need it and you want to send her a card, um, I'll I don't know if I can post it. I'll try posting it where she can't see it. But if I don't post it, just message me if you want to send her a card. Um, I mean, only if you really want to, you don't have to. But um, I just was like, oh, I know that that's so tough. So mischief has been with them, I think the entire time they've been married. So, um, and they have Astra, which is their new puppy. 
And I asked how that went and they said they got to bring Astra with them. So Astra like saw them like, you know, like they left without mischief. And so I was like, oh, I don't know how that goes, but that seems really sad. So anyway, um, just, you know, it's a, it's been a tough summer, y'all. It's been a tough summer. Okay. Who would like to share a project? Who's got something to fun to share? Anybody, anybody? I can go. Okay, Lisa, let me spotlight you first. Spotlight for everyone. Okay, you're on the big screen. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so, oh. Yeah, go for it. Yes. Working on some simple cards that I can do um, with some ladies at an assisted living facility. I love it. And the inside is. Nice. So easy stamping, easy layering. Yeah. And I have an old punch on this one, but here's another one with the in colors or the new, some of the new colors. Nice. Is that berry burst? Yes. So pretty. And that's simple, simple stamping, simple layering. They'll feel like they're pros, right? Yeah. And this one is for an exchange. Oh, I love that little bird. He's so cute. That's I love the little glasses I did in a weird color. And then I put a, a bling on it. <laughs> I love it. That's so cute. That's so cute. What is that fold called? What is what? The, the fold. fold. Yeah, what's that fold? Oh. I don't know. A Z fold, isn't it? well well what it is it's an eight and a half by 11 and you measure three inches and then three inches over here and then you cut it on the diagonal so it makes two out of a oh, card two. base two yeah super cute lisa will you nice. post a picture of that with the cutting directions on our page okay. yeah that'd be super it's nice, nice. Called like a stair step Z fold. If I'm not, if I'm not yeah, mistaken, kind of. hey. there's a cool little trick for getting this angle just right on your uh, DSP. Tell me. Yeah, what you do is okay this way, and it's like you know a quarter of an inch different, and then you line it up with this point, even with the top of the thing, and then you, you can cut it or mark it oh, back. And then just slide it down. And then slide it down and over. And it's almost perfect. Nice. Cause yeah. I was wondering, I was like, that's tricky. Okay. Very nice. I didn't come up with that. I found it. <laughs> Thank you, Kathleen, for putting Kim's info in the in the in the thing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Scipio Lane. Nice. Lisa, those are great. Those are great, great cards. Thank you. Anyone else want to share a card or something that they've done? Jill. Hey Jelly Bean. Spotlight. All right. Oh, uh, hang on. How do I? Okay. You're nice and big for us. Well, I don't have, so this is a project I've been working on my, um, let me turn this backlight on, on my mom's foster baby book. And I'm restoring all the photos and um, restoring her handwriting. So I just wanted to show you what some of the photos look like now. This is my mom. And a lot of the photos were very uh, distorted um, because they had been behind acetate since the late ah. um, early 60s to I want to say late 70s. Um, and so this is actually a picture of me because they kind of kept it so they could photograph me throughout the baby album. Mike, thanks, mom. Um, on the let me pull up some of the handwriting I've been working on so a lot of this handwriting was extremely yellow 
and had marks all over it. So I've been restoring it the best way I can so we can preserve her handwriting for each baby. We had 50 foster babies come through um, our house. And we were one of only two families in Pinellas County who would take mixed race babies in the 60s and the uh, early 70s. So I learned a lot from their example, needless to say. And so, um, yeah, I'm restoring it so that they can have a, my siblings and family can have a digital copy. And then my brother's going to, I'm going to re-scrapbook um, the new pictures with some um, baby paper. So I'm going to make a baby album basically with the foster babies. So how are you, what are you using an app to restore them? Yeah, it's called, let me pull it up. I never say the word right. Photo me, M-Y-N-E. Hmm. And so, um, yeah, they they kind of tweak it. They put detail in their faces because a lot of the pictures were very blurry. And so they it puts in detail of the babies, which is really cool. And uh, do my best to fix the color because the color is all way off. Yeah. Um, and just kind of go with it. So, but the photos are much better than trying to re scrapbook all 50 foster babies and that just, you know, deteriorated photos. So that's what I've been working on. That's awesome. Yeah. Will you post the app for us in the group? Because I'm sure that others might have some photo album things they might in the want. chat. Um, put it in our C2C stampers. Okay. Yeah, might as well. Patsy Palmer, do you have a fun project to show us? You got something? Um, I'm, I'm working on the challenge that um, the challenge that Crystal just put out. Well, yeah, like, I saw uh, that. I haven't tried it. Is it hard? Only to, to get the paper to go right. <laughs> that This is easy. You know, just cut it. And then that goes across this way. Right, right, right. Yeah. So... The paper, it says to go like this. So I'm using this paper, but it's long. So I think you're supposed to cut it, but it, it was a little confusing on watching the video. Yeah, and I think that because some of the paper is directional, I think it would help to use an omnidirectional paper. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, That's like your mouth is going to be whack, yeah. So I was looking at that one and I thought, hmm, that's probably good to use paper that could go either up or down, right? But like anything yeah. that has to be one way, I don't think that that paper is going to work. Yeah. Um, that paper is gorgeous, but I don't know that it's going to do what you want. Yeah. I decide that after I cut it. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, I just wanted to play with it. And then the, and then the diagonal looks like that. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. I mean, I don't tell you that, but I know. So that's what I've been working on this week. That's so funny. Yeah. Okay. And I, will I have the one from our swap. Yeah. The shoebox the, swap. Mm -hmm. the shoe box. And I really have enjoyed the stamp set a lot that and the colors. Yeah. That earth and elegance or whatever. Yeah. Earth and texture. Earth and texture. And I'm going to do that. I have a class Wednesday afternoon. So I'm going to do one of the cards is going to be this one. And I'm making three cards, three different designs. Good. So, one, yeah. one design done. Check. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I already almost made the rep okay. cut out. <laughs> so, does and those thank you cards. Yeah. Does anyone else have a project they want to share? Terry, let me spotlight you and then I'll come to Kathleen. Let's see. So Terry, okay. Okay, so I have a um my my I have a I do with it had it. Terry Lynn. Well, geez Louise, okay. Uh I won't show that just yet. The um I found this old singer sewing machine book. And I took it apart and uh, I am going to make these car. I am making these cards. Hmm. And this one here, I'm just using the old illustrations on side um, the book okay. and using up um, the old DSP. 
since I just got a wad of brand new DSP. But I, I, these are coming together better than I thought. I, I used the um, the Rose, uh, what was her name um, from last year? Uh, Ada Rose or help me. Oh, um, Ada K? No, no. The, no, the paper. Uh, oh, oh yes, yes. Cottage Rose? No. No. Uh, uh, Abigail, Abigail Rose. Abigail Rose, yeah, yeah. And uh, that one, yes, good call. Lisa. And then uh, and then this is, I'm using up the old uh, Memories and More. Nice. And uh, actually, I was sitting here and you told me her dog passed away and I had just finished putting this together. So now oh, I know what sentiment I'm gonna oh. put on there. Oh. And I'll get and I'll get that out to Kim. Kim's oh. also on the Southern Sweet Stampers list, is she not? She is, yes. yes. And that's where okay. Kathleen pulled that from. Oh, okay, great. Thank you, yeah, Kathleen. Kathleen was right. It's, it's on Southern Sweet Stampers. So yeah, it's job. a challenge to use up that old paper. I mean, I'm I'm less likely to do a uh a, a buy one, get one, you know. So. Yeah, I mean, I think that using up the old paper, especially because that paper has such an antique look to it, 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 it yeah. meshes perfect with that. I, I was gonna, I was gonna, I had hoarded it, and I, I had, I had, well, I had three packages, and I was gonna start scrapbooking again, and there's no time. I mean, I want there to be time, but God bless, you know, Jill, that you you got the mm. time to do that. I don't. You know? And what a doing my best yeah. yeah and I think it's a slow for you Jill it's, it's a slow project right it's a passion project but it's going to take time you've been working on it for a while yeah yeah and my brother's really on my case now because I'm oh. done because mom's rocking chairs up at his cabin in North Georgia and he wants the baby book to be up there with it so I've got a crunch to get okay. done for sure and here's and here's my last one. Don't forget how cool these ladybugs are. Here. I mean, they are stinking awesome. They're so it's so adorable. Yeah, using up those old papers. Very okay. good. Okay. Oh, good job. Good job. All right. And then Kathleen, you got something to show us, my dear? Oh, I was just gonna show. Um, I know some people have already seen this, but not everybody participated in it. I did the uh, case the catalog. Um, and I got to play with some of the new colors. Uh, the stamp sentiment says, every thought of you makes me smile. I'm kind of obsessed with this lemon lolly uh, yellow. Uh, so I was pretty proud that that kind of looked similar to the one that was in the catalog. Um, and then for my shoebox swap, uh, I had a new lemon stamp set called So Refreshing. And this one says, uh, time spent together is the sweetest. Um, and then I just put some lemon inside of that. Uh, I'm really happy with how that one came out. So just wanted to share those two because they were right here on my desk. They're so I'm happy good. how it turned out. It's great. Yeah. And that lemon lolly is just a really fun yellow. I really do love it. The re-inker is creepy looking though, by the way, if you haven't gotten the re-inker. Um, it's like, it is, um, it is something special. Um, where is it? Ghost-like? Is it white uh, with black lettering? It's just, it looks weird. Like the color on it is just bizarre. Is Up it here. brown? No, it look it looks almost um it looks almost like orange. Orange, right? Isn't that weird? And it's like it's see-through. It's like trans. It looks like Dayquil. It does look <laughs> Don't drink it, Jill. <laughs> Do not drink it. But like, isn't that oh weird? my God. Yuck. I've never seen anything like this. And I got it and I was like, oh, what? And I was like, it's like translucent, but it's, but it's orange. Anyway, so don't be freaked out if you get this. Um, okay. And that is a color that will need a refill um, because it's so light. You're going to need a refill on that for sure. So, well, good. Anybody else have a project to share? Anyone? Okay, I'm going to draw some winners and I'm going to put some prizes on my on my table. Hey Ruth, welcome. Hi, I have a card. Oh yeah, Ruth, I'm so excited. <laughs> so I did the um, Irresistible Blooms. Yeah. We're gonna 
in July with Patsy because we we're gonna do like a little card chair. But I made this one and I did, this is like the- Oh, that's that fancy die. Yeah. The like mm. reflective color. And then I put some of the little jewels on there. Is and that then the, the flower, the stuff is, um, I cut it out of the DSP with the dyes and then just the sentiment. I love that. So that die is super fancy. And then I like that you use the paper and you didn't like, you made the paper do the work for you, which is great. Yeah. It's gorgeous. <laughs> what kind of gems are those? Those are gorgeous those, on there. Those nice. are the frosted that, ones. Yeah. The ones. They come with the suite. They come with that online exclusive, those frosted ones. And she just put them on that crazy so pretty. Yeah. Love that look. Gorgeous. I've never seen it done like that. That's really Yeah, cool. I love it. All right, Gold Star, you get one. <laughs> <laughs> For her first meeting. Her hey, first meeting, Gold Star. Right? Oh my gosh. What are you talking about? Ruth, those are amazing. That's awesome. Good job. All right. Good. Anybody else have anything else to share? So Ruth has been subscribing to Paper Pumpkin with me for a long time. Um, and she knows Patsy through her mom, right? Patsy, isn't that right? Yeah. So yeah. Um, I, I've known her since she was born. <laughs> <laughs> she knows all the dirt. So, well, I'm so, so excited. Anybody else have a project to share? Belinda, you doing okay? I am. Um, right after I mailed off the um, the case yeah. items, we took a cruise and then came home and I I'm still still not 100% unpacked. <laughs> so <laughs> other than the case thing, I haven't had time to do squat. <laughs> yeah, that is A-OK. -okay. I just want to make sure you're good. You're flat on your back. All right, so I've got some stamps. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys this, or it's stickers, not stamps. So I've got some stickers and then I'm going to show you the stickers and then we'll talk through the other prizes. So let me, I'm going to spotlight this. Okay, so I have some fun stickers that if you get a door prize, then you can pick stickers if you want. So we've got, I'm going to call this one, this one. And then this one has hands with stickers and then this one has like multicolored fun projects and then there's what I'm going to call the rock uh crafter and then there's this cute one with kitties and little pots it's like a potter's but with cats which is funny and then there's the pink one I'm going to call this pink and then there's I'm going to call the mouse one so there's a little mouse crafter more sewing and yarn than paper, but that's okay. And then I have some traditional door prizes too, just in case that doesn't float your boat. So I still have one of the really big paper pumpkin stickers. So if you want a paper pumpkin sticker, this is like a vinyl decal. It says, I love paper pumpkin. You can put it on your car. It's super cute. I also have some new in color dots. Ouch. Some in color twine. This is the jute the jute trim, and then I have some pearls. So we have quite a few prizes and we're gonna, but we got quite a few folks tonight. So we're gonna pull. And then when I pull your name, just tell me what you want. And then I'm gonna probably try to glue your name to the project so that I what you want so I don't mess up. So, all right, first person, Patsy Palmer. Like that. The, um, the dots. The dots. The yeah. right, yeah. You Thank you. It. You're welcome. All right, next person. Let's see. Oh, oh, somebody popped out. Okay, whoever popped out wins. Lisa, what would you like? The jute. The jute. You got it, my friend. Thank you. And Esther, you win. What would you like? The pots. The the pearls? No, the pots. 
the cat oh, the pots. Oh, the kitties in the pots. <laughs> I was like, focus on the kitties. Oh, you focused on the pots. I appreciate that. Um, cool. All right, next person. All right, let's see. Let's see. Terry, what would you like? Um, I would like the pearls if you don't mind. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is two wrapped together. Kathleen. You can gift mine. Okay. Um, we'll just move on then. Uh, let's see who's the tiny name. Jill, Miss Jill. Uh, the paper pumpkin um sticker. Big sticker, yeah. Beep, beep. Love it. Um, all right, and then we've got we've got mice. We've got all right, and then okay. I'm gonna pull three more. Jill again, my dear. I'm gonna use um. Uh, the colorful crafting one. Yeah, for my planner. Ooh, yeah. Those are fun planner yeah. stickers. Love it. All right. And then next person, Patsy Palmer. Hope you're muted, but I still love you. Uh, I'll, I'll gift it to someone else. Okay. Yeah. Terry, Miss Terry, would you like some stickers? Oh, you bet. Um, I want the um, the hand with the wild scissors. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty, it's a pretty cool, it's like a paper. It's called Rockin' the Crafts is the name of it. <laughs> that's just, that's awesome. It has got like some holographic stuff. I think it's pretty cool. So thank you. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to pull one more. Let's see. Here we got Glenda. Uh, I want the sewing machine mouse. The sewing machine mouse. I think that he's super cute. He's so precious. Look, and he's got some silver on him too. Like all the little metal pieces are like metallic silver. Oh yeah. Look at those tiny little scissors in his hand. Is he not the cutest? <laughs> and we all had one of those tomato pin cushions, right? Like all of us, yeah. right? Okay. Yes. We'll make sure that was a consistent experience across our youth. So, okay, good call. So, um, if Jennifer Jenkins is a good puppy, maybe I'll give her a sticker. Um, so, um, I know she likes stickers. So, all right. So, I'm going to stop the recording and maybe I'm going to stop the recording. Let's see. Let's see.